Hi, my name is Rick Green and I'm a curriculum developer at Oracle. In part one of this two-part video, I showed how to request and activate an Oracle Cloud Trial Service. In this second video, I will show you how to administer a new Oracle Cloud Service, including the management of users and roles. Before we proceed, let's view a diagram of the Cloud Service provisioning workflow to look at the role players and Oracle Cloud applications used to administer an Oracle Cloud Service. In part one of this video series, we saw that the buyer of a free trial or paid subscription to an Oracle Cloud Service designates who will be the initial account administrator. The account administrator activates a service and designates who will be the service administrator and the identity domain administrator. A key task of the identity domain administrator is to define the users and the user roles that will give users their access privileges. The Identity Domain Administrator creates users and roles for all of the purchased or trial cloud services. The job of the Service Administrator is to develop and administer one particular cloud service. Typically, it is the Service Administrator who assigns roles to each user of that cloud service. The Service Administrator is also the person who will likely provide their users the URL and sign-in credentials to access the service. Keep in mind that, depending upon your organization's size and structure, the same person can be assigned to perform several of these roles. In my role as the Identity Domain Administrator, I will open the Identity Console for my Identity Domain. I open a browser and enter the cloud.oracle.com website. I click Sign In at the top of the screen. I make sure the correct data center for my service is selected and click Sign in to my services. I enter the oracle.com credentials for the Identity Domain Administrator and click Sign in. The My Services application appears, displaying my new database service. To create users and roles, I click the Identity Console button. Roles give users privileges within a service. Let's examine the roles that are initially assigned to me. In the Identity Console, I select Manage Roles. Initially, it appears that no roles are defined for me. To see all the roles available, enter an asterisk in the search area and click Search. A list of roles is displayed. Here you can create, assign, revoke, and delete roles. Because we are looking at an Oracle Cloud database service, the roles are database related, such as database user, database developer, database administrator, and so on. I'm ready to create a new user. Note that only an identity domain administrator can create users. Then either identity domain administrators or service administrators can assign or revoke roles for those used. In the Identity Console, I select Manage Users. No users are listed. I click Create to create a new user. I enter the information about the user I want to create and click Create. I receive notification that the user was created successfully. I click OK. Still, no users are listed. To see a list of all the users in this service, I need to enter an asterisk in the search area and click Search. A list of users in this service is displayed including my new user and myself. I'll select the last name of the user I just created. The user details are displayed. Notice that there are no roles specified. Next I will assign a role to the user that will allow him to manage this service. So I click Close. To assign a role to my user, I select Manage Roles.
again no roles are initially listed, to see all the available roles to my new user, I enter an asterisk in the search area and click search. Let's look at the list of roles. The Identity Domain Administrator will see all roles for all Oracle Cloud services in your Identity Domain. The Service Administrator will only see all roles related to the services that he or she manages in the Identity Domain. I will select Database Database User from the list and click Assign. Now I need to enter my new user's name or a portion of his name in the search area and click search. I select my user from the list and click assign. The role was assigned to the user successfully. I can click OK. In addition to manually adding users via the Identity Console, you can create a CSV file to batch upload the definitions for multiple users using the Cloud Services File Uploading Utility. There is another video that shows you how to perform these batch uploads of users. Go to the Oracle Learning Library and search for the title, How to Upload Users in Batch. I created a user and assigned him the role of Database User. Now I will find the URL to give this user so he can access the predefined sample application included in the Cloud Database service. I am still logged into the Identity Console with the high-level privileges of the Identity Domain Administrator. I go back to the My Services application and click the Details icon. The Details page has a number of tabs. I click the Applications tab to see the packaged applications available in my Cloud Database service. There is one packaged application provided, the Sample Database application. I right-click the Run button and select Copy Link Location to get the URL for running this application. This URL is what I would give to my new user to run this application. While we are here looking at the details of my service, let's look briefly at some of the other tabs available in the Oracle Cloud Database service. The Utilization tab shows usage information, such as the amount and percent of storage space used, and the number of database objects in the database schema. The Data Export tab lets you create an Oracle Data Pump export of your data and data structures using a secure FTP utility. The Administration tab lets you write a description of the service, back up your Application Express applications, and lock out the service from end users and developers. And that's it. You've now seen how to manage a new Oracle Cloud service, including the creation of users and roles. I'm Rick Green. Thanks for watching.